This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up what you want here as we launch into the third hour of the program. We can still talk about ISIS, specifically a Christian version of ISIS, uh, plus the border controls. And Johnson wanted to tell us tonight a secret to emotional control that most people don't know about. So I'd like to get to that, too. Of course, your calls and thoughts come first. We're going to go to Jarls again. We're going to try him out. Uh, He's uh, supposedly on a clearer connection here, according to our board operator. Jarls, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Johnson and Mark, and you're calling from Los Angeles. Go ahead. Wonderful, gentlemen. Am I coming in clear? So far. Go ahead with your thoughts. Okay. Well, I've been uh, looking up at the sky since I was a little boy, and I've been noticing that these lights are moving, the sun and the moon and the stars. And I'm, I'm, I've been told that the giant Earth moves below, but I don't seem to, to believe it. Uh-huh. So you don't believe that the Earth moves? Correct. I mean, be, I believe there's some vibration to it, but uh-huh. I don't believe uh, it's moving uh, 66,000 miles per hour. So you don't believe that the universe is expanding outward uh, from the center, uh, <laughs> from the Big Bang? Oh, who told you this? Uh, scientists. From science class. Okay, so they told you that uh, everything's expanding away. Yes, so, they, they, it, there was it, a theory that they came up with called the Big Bang, that the universe expanded from a single explosive uh, force that occurred uh, something right. like four trillion years ago. And I've always wondered what the universe could be condensed into if it's the universe. A softball, apparently. Right, but what is that universe inside? I don't know, Space. But if space is the universe, how could it create itself? Well, um, I guess the universe is all the stuff that's in space. So um, if, you know, all those uh, molecules manage to get down into one spot, you just have a bunch of space. Well, space it has ask, also time and energy. So to ask how, okay. how to ask how it created itself is one of the greatest questions, you know, known to man. Right. Like there's no real good answer for that. Now is there. OK. But, but then is the sun and the moon moving away from us? Yes. You mean are the sun and the moon moving away? I don't away? think that they're, uh, they're, I mean, you know, the earth is orbiting around the sun uh, is the notion. And then the moon orbits around the earth. They keep a relatively um, static uh, distance from these uh, these bodies. Are you saying that you don't think that the earth circles the sun? This is what I'm not clear on. Are you, <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Let me let me be crystal. I don't believe the Earth is moving. I okay. think the sun and moon are moving as well as those lights, the starlight. Okay. So you believe in a, because, a, a geocentric universe? Oh yes, if that's what they're labeling it. Yes, that's what they labeled it during. That's yes, that's what they labeled it during the Dark Ages. Yes, that's, <laughs> he's that's going what back labeled. to the Dark Ages. Yes, we're going back to below, b- before Galileo oh, and so Copernicus. We're, we're in the light. We're in the light ages now. Well, I've got a well, cell relatively. phone, and uh, I can turn on the, the. I mean, people aren't being thrown in the, you know, the Iron Maiden anymore, and you know, they aren't being rolled down hills, well, and you know. Do you think Galileo deserved it? <laughs> well, I think Galileo has a lot of history that maybe we don't know about, okay. and I think a lot of these men uh, maybe had some women friends that could have been telling him things as well. Have you heard the Einstein theory that his wife wrote things? I have. Yep. No, what's this now? The theory that yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Einstein was sort of a theory. A What's yes, the theory? She wrote the relativity. That she wrote relativity. Really? Oh, interesting. No, I'm not. Well, if it's coming from this guy, I wouldn't necessarily believe it. But uh, Mark, hey, you've I actually don't heard believe this. it. I mean, what? Einstein worked at a patent office for his life. I mean, right? I mean, <laughs> there's somebody always yeah. out there willing to, uh, you know, to 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 to, be, to, to whittle their own uh, stick on this. Um, so, I mean, if your if your stick is that women are important, relevant, and uh, you know, powerful and just as good as men, or whatever. Oh no, that's not my stick. Yeah, I understand, yeah, but course. somebody would necess- – somebody out there, that's their shtick, and, you know, they could say, hey, you know, eh. his wife could have done it, and then it turns into this urban legend I'm or just willing to entertain the notion that, you know, what? that, that relatively, relativity was written by somebody other than a government patent clerk. Hmm. That's the only reason why I'd be willing to entertain it, because it's fun. But So, Darl, <laughs> just to be clear, problem. you're not a flat earther. You just believe the uh, yeah. spherical earth does not move. It does not rotate around the sun, nor does it itself uh, rotate. Well, I, I, just, to, just to be clear again, I, I don't know if it's a globe. I don't think we're spinning because have you seen the solar analemma? Oh, so we're not spinning either. Right. He believes I don't know what the, the solar analemma is. 
The solar analemma is the path the sun makes in one year. It is the infinity pattern. Mm-hmm. It keeps on yeah, doing it. It goes up. Yeah, so, it keeps on doing it. One thing that's conveniently happening this year that doesn't happen very often is a solar eclipse. Now, what does that mean? Of course. How do you explain well, that? What is it? What is a solar is eclipse? Is the sun moving between the Earth and the moon? No, I, I think if the moon and the sun are, are relatively closer than what we're told, uh, they're still moving. It's just not uh, the distances that we say. And solar eclipses don't happen just once a year. Oh, no. And they happen for different parts of the year on Earth. All right, what's the solar eclipse? I'm sorry, you're going to have to refresh me on this. Solar eclipse is when the moon... Oh, you mean the solar analemma. Okay, I'm just asking, what's the solar eclipse? There's a bunch of different types of eclipses. Can we be clear There's on exactly what... two types of what... eclipses. Yeah. A solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. Uh-huh. A lunar eclipse is when the Earth passes between the sun and the moon. Gotcha. And then the, that's when the, the sun or the Earth casts a shadow on the moon because Let me of the ask sun. you this. Why have we been lied to like this? Why did Mr. Anderson lie to me in science class in high school? Well, maybe he didn't know he was lying. If he was taught the same things we were taught, sure. then you, it just keeps going down the line. Well, there, you've got to admit so, there are some people that are telling lies, and NASA even has like a camera oh, running course. it out in the um, International Space Station or whatever, where you can see things happening all the time. I mean, there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, CG design um, graphics that are going well, not on. not even that. But you have to question the people living in that machine, how the body would uh, adapt to that sort of environment in mm-hmm. a micrograph. I don't see how our uh, saliva or any fluids could maintain that. Okay. So he doesn't believe there's anyone there. So there's no one there? I don't I don't think so. I I've think seen a lot of – I used to live in Co- um, by Cocoa Beach. Uh, not in Cocoa Beach, but I used to live by Cocoa Beach where Cape Canaveral is. And they're setting up a lot of rockets to trick us when they could just say that uh, NASA was down in Antarctica. You know, they could have just lied, put it down in Antarctica. Oh, I'm not disputing the rockets. I'm thinking maybe they can go certain uh, elevation. But they come back down. You don't see when they come back down, I Mark. Think, yeah, and you see you see the trajectory uh, of the time lapses, and they're they're tremendously curving. You know, I bet that. Uh, I bet it would be kind okay. of it would be kind of fun to. I mean, I don't want to do it on the air, but it might be kind of fun to watch the flat earthers uh, go up against this guy. Oh, he's much better. Yeah. You think he's better than the flat earthers? Oh uh, yeah, like he doesn't. He he has an answer for everything. And for one, when was the last time you heard the term solar analemma? Right? I never I heard mean, of it. You know, the guy's not an idiot. Um, he's uh, he, he he's got a theory, the best I can tell, and believes it very theory. Well, thoroughly. now I don't know they if he's an idiot, but like he's rubber bullets. I don't know if he's an idiot, but he's ignoring. No, I'm not claiming he's an idiot. Mountains of well, evidence. Well, with all respect, we're all an idiot at something. That's true. <laughs> we're all ignorant about something. Um, but, you know, to ignore the mountains of evidence and, you know, testimonials out there that, you know, refute your claims is kind of dumb. Plus, well, I'm, his, look, his I'm, transatlantic I'm not, accent I'm, makes him sound that much smarter, too. I'm not blatantly uh, dismissing all the evidence. I'm just looking at it more thoroughly and finding some contradiction. And what's the contradiction? Well, like I said, the infinity pattern for one, they say it's from our You believe kill. the sun moves, dude. There's no, you yes, know, that's ridiculous. No, Wait, have you, ever, before... have you ever played with a spirograph? Uh, please, remind me what a spirograph is. Spirograph is the, it's an odd, like, little shaped device where you put a pencil in it and you rotate it around. It's, it's, it's within a circle, right? So you have a circle, right? Oh, it's yeah. like an orbit, and then there's a shape, and you put a pencil in one of the ends of, say, a triangle, right? And then when you rotate this triangle around the circle, it draws it makes an much inf- like, it almost looks like an infinity symbol, but it's, it's, it rotates, and in you keep drawing it, it'll shape. draw like a spiral pattern, and that's why it's called a spiral graph. Um, and so, so when you think of the analemma, the analemma, you think of the fact that the Earth is on an axis and rotating around the sun, it makes perfect sense. Thanks for the call, Jarls or Jarls. Appreciate it. Uh, Toll free number here, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> the infinity symbol is basically a spirograph. Of We're going to continue, and you can share your thoughts with us here. Orbits are not perfectly aligned. On Free Talk Live. Coming up, secret to emotional control that most don't know about. 